What is up, Madden NFL fans? Welcome to today's video, guys. Today we're going to be talking about how we like to set up our base formation from the Indianapolis Colts playbook. Now, a couple of things that are going to be coming to the channel uh, soon here is we're going to be focusing a little bit less on playbook breakdowns and a little bit more on concept breakdowns. And the reason that we're going to be doing this, we're going to break down playbooks, of course, and all that. But the reason we're going to be doing this is because Madden 15 is right around the corner. We're about two months away, and I want to give you guys tips that can you carry over uh, from year to year. So I don't want to just focus on some money plays or unique routes or things like that. I want to focus on more concepts. So we're going to be doing that uh, coming up soon. Probably next week we'll start that. Uh, i got to get how I want to do it all laid out on my uh, guide here, but we're going to have that also. If you guys are interested, I'm going to be putting out a sample e-guide for next-gen Madden 25. And what I mean by this is I'm going to take my Arizona offensive playbook, and I'm going to take my uh, Atlanta defensive playbook, and I'm going to break those two things down in a guide format, give it to you for free to give you a sample of what I'm going to be doing in Madden NFL 15. I'm going to make some guides, guys. And I know you guys are probably going to be pretty excited about that. It's going to be completely free this season uh, for the rest of Madden 25. I haven't decided yet on whether or not I'm going to charge. But as well as you all know me, if I charge you anything, it's going to be you know probably 5 bucks or maybe 10 bucks most at the max. So... Uh, definitely want to get your feedback on that. I think that that would be just another opportunity or a way that I could break down videos and uh, break down plays a little bit more in-depth for you. Uh, obviously, there will be two different types of guides, a beginner guide and an advanced guide. Uh, we're just going to give you a sample one for free here. Uh, but those are a lot more information about that later on down the road. But uh, the sample e-guide will be released June 1st or July 1st 2014 uh, so on July 1st you guys uh, I'll have a video up that will release the guide to you and you guys can check all that out on in July and it's gonna what's going to do is it's gonna break down the entire next generation of Madden and then in August for the demo we're gonna have a Madden 15 beginners guide that we're gonna give away for free it's another opportunity to get a sample guide and basically what that guide is going to do is going to teach you how to go about uh, finding things, how to how to play the game in the beginning, and that's going to be released August 1st, 2014. So you guys can uh, be on the lookout for those two things. Let me know what you think about that, and we'll talk later on that. Uh, but for today's video, guys, we are breaking down the Indianapolis Colts offensive playbook. And uh, for today's video, we are focusing on how to have a very dominant base play from the Indianapolis Colts playbook. And the play that I really like to use is the Colts Divide. Guys, this is one of my favorite plays. It's a levels concept. It's right up my alley. It's everything that I love in a play. And let's break it down for you guys right now. So really quickly here, the only adjustments you want to make on this play is you want to put this um, circle receiver here on a smart routed out route instead of the route that he's on because we want a level of consistency we want something that can beat me in coverage and that's what that route's going to provide for us so real quick we're facing just a basic two man under and our first read here is going to be this levels concept on the left side and you see that we can typically motion that in route inside a step and it typically will beat man coverage right there we got intercepted but normally this thing will beat man and obviously there i just messed it all up but if if that's not beating man for you, that out route you see will beat man very easily. Um, so you have that smart route and out route. This in route normally will also, guys, beat man. You want to hit him when his icon lights up. So uh, that may be a little bit of a problem here. But you see how we want to wait till he cuts across. And wow, Maxwell got us again. Maybe we don't want to motion him in. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Let's see about not motioning him in here. Maybe it's the not motioning him in. And there you see we finally beat it. So you don't want to motion him in uh, unless he's an opportunity to get bumped. Uh, so see here he's not an opportunity to get bumped. But if we do this, then he's at the opportunity to get bumped. Then we need to motion him in so that he gets unbumped and we can beat main coverage like that. Okay, so that's the first read. And that's going to be, this is more of a base play than it is a man beater. So remember that. So we're not really designing the play to just beat man. It's going to be zone and man. All right, so our next read here is going to be our underneath in route. Uh, Pettis coming across. Typically, his route will have a pretty good separation as well uh, coming across here. We should be able to fit it in with an inside pass lead. Uh, it all depends on how good that corner is, if there's shading inside. All that stuff kind of goes into it. 
But uh, typically, this route will do a decent job at beating man-to-man. -man. Our third read here is going to be Jared Cook. And uh, we could user catch this route here. It's a little bit of a difficult user catch. But basically, we're going to bullet pass lead it to the inside. And we're going to click on and just kind of swerve him in and out to try to make a user catch here. So let's take a look at this one more time here. I'm having a little trouble with Sam Bradford fitting it in. But there you see, and I just couldn't get my guy to go up for the ball. But you're just going to swerve him a little bit to kind of shake the defender. And then you're going to make that user catch. There you see, that's what we're looking for. And it's just a basic user catch. If you don't like that, um, you don't have to hit him against man. Again, this isn't necessarily a man beater. Uh, it's just a base play. Okay, so obviously you have the out route as well. That's going to be kind of our final read against two men under. Uh, just this basic curl flat read here. I don't know why I put him on a streak there on accident. But this basic curl flat read to the right side is going to be set up to beat uh, cover three and cover uh, one. So you see that we can beat that with the out route and obviously the swing route to the back. Okay, so but that is our two men under version, and again, this isn't something that you're gonna really rely on to beat two men under. This is just a base play, and typically these in routes will be pretty decent. And if you want to make them even better, you can just put Pettis on a drag, pass lead up, and you see that's gonna beat man coverage. So obviously we have man beaters, but this play specifically um, is gonna focus more on being an all around play that can beat some man and beat some zone. Sherman's talking right now. But uh, so let's take a look now to cover three. Okay, so as we said with the cover three, uh, what's going to happen is Givens is going to get press. So we're going to know that, and we're just going to hit uh, Cam Chancellor and see if he can run it back for us. Um, but basically, you're just going to read to the curl flat side. So typically, what I've found is if the safety's coming down in the cover three, that's what's going to happen. So you see that the safety's coming down, so I would want to check that down to the flat and get Zach Stacy an opportunity to break some tackles and get into the open field. Um, you could do that, or you could wait just a little bit longer. And if I wait just a little bit longer, you see he's going to get sucked down, and then I can hit the out route late. Uh, you could do either one. All right? So that's how you beat a cover three. And then a cover two zone um, is going to be this level side. And you see a lot of times triangle is going to be open coming across the middle. Or if you wait just a little bit longer, you'll see that square is going to be open uh, coming over the underneath middle here for some easy yardage against the cover two. Now, what about the cover four? Well, the cover four, this is where we like to hit uh, Jared Cook on the deep seams. With the pass to the inside, we can click on again and make that user catch in the seams. And you see how this is going to beat every basic zone in the game. It's also going to beat man coverage, guys. Trust the play. I'm telling you right now. Uh, you'll see in the gameplay footage that we're going to show you uh, this week that this route, these routes do do a pretty good job at beating me in coverage. It's just you have to establish something because you have to make the opponent shade a different way. So, for example, a, a, a variant play off of this is to put Givens on an out route, Pettis on a drag, and then take Tavon Austin, put him on an in route, maybe put uh, Stacy on a wheel route, and then take Cook, and you can put him on that, leave him on the fade route. This is a variant version of this play. We talk all the time about constraint theory, and now you see we're beating man to the outside. Going inside and out, working off the play, is what makes a good base play. So, because, like, for example, let's take a really good base play. So, let's take something like curl flats, and we talk about it all the time. But basically, let's just say out routes are good at beating man. Okay, so we know that out routes are a good way to beat man coverage. There you see I torched Brandon Browner. Now watch what happens. If I'm the defense and I make a quick little adjustment to stop the out route by shading him to the outside, you see that all of a sudden the out route doesn't beat man coverage anymore. So now what do we want to throw? Well, we want to throw in routes against shaded out man. So if they're shading out man coverage... Here you're going to see that the in route is now going to beat man to man. So, but then again, now let's let's take a look at it again. Now, what if they shade in inside? Then you're going to see now that the in route is not going to do a very good job at beating man to man. There we got lucky; it kind of came, but you guys are hopefully getting my point. And what I mean by all of this is this: even though out routes are good at beating man and in routes are being good at man, good at beating man, they're not a hundred percent, especially on next gen. So, you actually have to make the read. Okay, so when I'm progressing against man, I'm looking to the outside. Okay, that's covered. Okay, I look back. That's covered. 
and then sometimes you just you know sometimes you're just gonna have to check it to your man beater you know sometimes you're just gonna say okay checkmate you've got me another good way to run this play is to put jared cook on a zig uh because that route beats man really well and put stacy on the streak you could do that the only problem with that is like you just saw Jared Cook sometimes gets pressed by the defensive end for some reason. Uh, so you can just mess with this play, guys. But <coughs> excuse me. But the basic uh, concept is there. I showed you some variants that you can run off of this. Um, because, guys, the stock two-man under is going to leave the out routes open. Okay, let's just, let's just say what it is. That's what the stock two-man under is going to do. But then, so say you throw that out route to Givens a couple times. Well, now I'm pretty sure that this in route is going to be even more wide open. There you see it is. So it's all about kind of mixing your play calling. You could start with the out route. You could start with the in route. I don't really care. But that's what I like to do on my base plays. And this beats a lot every zone in the game as well. So that's what we like about it most. Um, so it's not a zone beater because it can beat man. And it's not a man beater because it doesn't always beat man. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And again, be on the lookout for those guides coming soon. And enjoy the uh, Hard Knocks podcast. If you haven't checked that out, I'm going to leave a link to it in the description for you guys. Uh, we're talking about how to get better for Madden NFL 15. So you can check that out in the, in the description, and we'll talk to you guys soon.